subscribers and newcomers. Desai, your gracious host, back with another voiceover. Today, we'll be covering the Alexander Grantham ship. So let's head on over to the Fireboat Alexander Grantham Exhibition Gallery. Take a shot every time I say Alexander Grantham. I dare you. Located in Quarry Bay Park Phase 1 is the Fireboat Alexander Grantham Exhibition Gallery. In Cantonese, Gotlang Hong Ho Mi Fallen Dinam Gun. Say it with me. Got few locals know about this unusual museum, let alone tourists. But Fireboat Alexander Grantham is worth a stop for anyone interested in Hong Kong's marine heritage. From 1953 to 2002, the Alexander Grantham served as the flagship of Hong Kong's marine fire services. At the time it was commissioned, thousands of people lived in Hong Kong typhoon shelters, and fires often broke out in these floating villages. Today, the fireboat sits in Quarry Bay Park, where it displays some fascinating marine artifacts. The Alexander Grantham Exhibition Gallery is one of five branch museums of the Hong Kong Museum of History. The others being the Hong Kong Museum of Coastal Defense, the Lei Cheng Ok Han Tu Museum, the Law Ok Folk Museum, and the Dr. Sun Yat Sen Museum. If you'd like to visit the Alexander Grantham Exhibition Gallery, you may refer to Google or go to the museum's website, where you could potentially find more information about it. Now you may be asking, just what is a fireboat? Well, a fireboat is like a fire truck, but used for traveling on the ocean. It carries firefighters and equipment for fighting large fires on board ships and in waterside areas. The Alexander Grantham used to be a fireboat of Hong Kong's Fire Services Department back in 1952. 68 years ago. As you could guess, it was named after former governor Sir Alexander Grantham. It went out of service on May 2002 and has since been replaced by newer vessels. This 500-ton boat of history was and still is the largest amongst all of Hong Kong's fireboats. It was constructed by Hong Kong Wampo Dock Company Limited. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Measuring 38.9 meters long, 8.8 .8 meters wide, 15 meters tall, and with a loaded displacement of 511 tons, it has taken part in numerous firefighting and rescue operations, including the Seawise University Fire in 1972, the Eastern Gate Fire in the 1980s, and the New Orient Princess Fire in 1993. Alexander Grantham is also a great example of the Hong Kong shipbuilding industry's achievements in the early 1950s. It showcases Hong Kong's sea salvage history of the past century and provides a glimpse of the territory's social development. Alright, now that you're familiar with the boat, let's go over to what the three are doing. This is the Alexander Grantham's brass bell. When the boat anchored or moored at its buoy in foggy weather, 
The crew would ring this bell every minute to help avoid collisions with other vessels approaching the area. Let's take a look in some of the rooms of the Alexander Grantham. This is the office. A plain old room where I would assume the firefighters would go to have their breaks. Although that would contradict the name office, because I think office is like a place for work. This is the pump room. The switches are probably the ones that control said pumps. If so, then that is a lot of pumps. This is the casualty room. Here's where they would bring the wounded and get them medical help. And here is their stretcher, because I don't know why Pixie sent me a picture of a stretcher. Looking inside the Alexander Grantham actually reminds me of the interior of the infamous Queen Mary. For all you non-horror heads out there, Queen Mary is a ship people believe is haunted. But that's a story for another day because we're not here to talk about that. Now before you leave, a quick question for all of you who are really listening and paying attention. If you had the chance, would you visit the Alexander Grantham Gallery? Type your answer in the comments. I'm watching you. And that about wraps up for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.